How's it going everybody? So today we're gonna to do a long awaited full collection update. This is every tractor that is currently within my possession. This is everything in the upstairs garage that I use for work, everything in the annex, and everything that is in the yard slash shop area. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I keep having problems, whatever. So let's just jump right into it. You're gonna to wanna to stick through to the end of this one because this is gonna be a really cool video where you guys get to see everything that I own. We'll start off over here with my now leaky 330. I need to replace the O-ring on the couplers in the front. I haven't had time yet. This is my baby. I love this tractor, three cylinder diesel. Same thing as a 332, just no power steering and a couple other little things that are different, but I love this tractor. I had a loader on it for a little while, wasn't too happy with it, sold it and went to the plow. Next up over here, another leaky 330. Uh, that's leaking bad now. I thought it wasn't leaking that bad. It is my 330T. This thing is the Turbo 330. That's got a little RHP 31 turbo on it. Pretty slick. Pretty cool. I drove this thing around Zagray. You can see all the sun. This thing smokes a lot. Um, it's kind of just a piece of garbage, but I enjoy riding it, so it's going to stay here forever, hopefully. The Electro 12 slash 1067 whatever clone tractor. Um, Honda engine. Uh, just a, it started out as, what was this, a Raider 10, something like that. And I did some little touches, put some different tires on it, put some hubcaps on it and stuff. And it's a pretty cool tractor. Uh, there's uh, Mr. Vin's RJ's exhaust off the little mule. Um, I took this thing out to Steve's show in Connecticut, and it did awesome on the drive. I took this to Zagra in Connecticut, it did awesome on that drive. So, pretty cool. One of my pulling tractors, the 414-8. This one's up for sale if anybody's looking. If it doesn't sell within the next probably a month or so it's going to get pulled apart i'm going to sell it as a regular tractor because uh, it does run and drive great um and then i'm just going to pull off all the pulling stuff well if you know my channel and you know me this is the face of my business this is my b100 um i love this tractor it's if i had to keep one tractor it'd be the b100 100 i love my 330 it's my baby but this is this is my tractor my first ever tractor i personally bought not a family tractor uh, was a B80 wheel horse, so this is close enough. Got my 1045. I did just do a video on this if you want to go check it out. This thing's all kitted out with um, the front and rear wheel weights, uh, the seat back, the mid-mount grader blade, all that good stuff. This is a really cool tractor. The only thing I'm missing is the HL5 headlights uh, and then maybe like a hydraulic lift, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one. That's a cool tractor. Here's a super clean 140H3 that's now actually a little dusty, but it's very clean, very nice tractor. This is my dad's that I bought and he decided he wanted. Um, I got to do some more work to this thing and get it all squared away because it is going to need a little bit of love. Then over here, we've got my B80 pulling tractor. This thing's pretty cool. This is stretched, stretched six inches with a 23 horse Kohler V-twin on it. And uh, yeah, that thing wins a lot of ribbons. But let's go ahead and check out what's in the annex. All right, so this is what I call the annex. This is where I keep all the tractors that are too nice to leave outside, uh, but I can't fit in the upstairs garage. So let's take a look at everything. First off, for all my longtime fans, you know this is Jane, my 1973-140. This thing's just hanging out down here. Put some more appropriate tires on her. And she's just been sitting ever since. Got the 607 wheel horse. This is one of my original wheel horses. Absolutely love that tractor. Beautiful. 1970 140 H3. With uh, some, I think, the 23 degree Firestone ag tires. Pretty cool. Beautiful tractor. I've done a ton of work to this thing. Lots and lots and lots of new parts. Just a uh, solid, good tractor all around. If I can get this hood on. Um, pretty decent machine though. Got my 120 patio. I don't know if I've ever done a YouTube video on this thing, uh, but I will if you guys are interested. Pretty rare to see a 120 patio in red, especially. Raider 10 diesel. Uh, this one I broke the pull cord on recently, so I can't start it, and she's still leaking. I mean, it's a diesel, so what do you expect, you know? Here's the Honda horse, the 520 8. GX690 Honda, a little bit bigger than the 670 Predators. 68 super 12 sears my high school restoration project i do have to get back to this at some point i don't think there's a belt in there there's not um, i do have to get back to this and actually finish it but for now it's just kind of hanging out here this is a 606 eight speed project 
that I was working on. Kind of just lost interest and haven't really touched it since. 552 wheel horse with a Honda, 854 wheel horse with a Honda, and 702 wheel horse. That's just the original um, K-Series Kohler in it. You can see the other side of Jane and the other side of the 607 there. If you guys want to see any individual videos on any one of these tractors, please let me know. I'd be happy to make special videos on these. Here's my 67 Sears. You guys have seen this one before. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, this is my first Sears I ever got. The old Jacobson Chief 100A. I'm doubting that this is ever going to get sold, so I'm just going to indict it into the uh, actual collection, and it's going to go up on a shelf here pretty soon. Uh, you guys will have to see that in the next video. Next to the Jacobson is my beloved 400 on the nice flat tire. It sucks, but it is what it is. Pretty cool machine, though. I drove this thing all over Zagre. I absolutely love it. It's been winterized, so we'll see that again in the spring. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's already rotted out, but I didn't want it sitting outside anymore because that's where it was. Then for some reason in this corner, we have red and yellow tractors that aren't supposed to be red and yellow. This is my little 1965 heavy-duty Craftsman mower. Just picked this thing up. Really rare, really cool. Put a little Predator in it. That's going to get painted up like a Ford 8N. Uh, so I will do a video series on that, but that's just a cute little tractor. I mean, you can see that's probably my biggest tractor next to my smallest. So that's kind of a cool picture. Take a quick picture of that. Next to it, speaking of rare, here is a Gemco Big Boy Deluxe. That's another really rare tractor. I picked this thing up a few weeks ago. Again, should not be yellow and green. Don't know why people like to paint things John Deere yellow and green when they're not a John Deere, but it happens. Very weird tractor. I did a video on this. It's got chain steering, chain drive rear end. Very strange. Here is my Commando 6. That is actually an 857. That's also like a Commando 800. I don't know. Weird tractor. Just a hodgepodge of parts. This was my 1045 clone before I actually picked up the 1045. 1872 Cup Cadet. Awesome tractor. I finally got it running and then immediately put it in the basement. Uh, to winterize it because I didn't want this thing sitting outside and I didn't want to sit in my garage in my way So I figured this is the best place to put it. But yes, yeah, so that's everything that's in the annex uh, So let's go ahead and go outside and I'll show you everything that I keep outside All right, so let's take a look at everything that's outside. We got one of my mud mowers here uh, This is my 418-8. It's not really a 418-8. It was a C125 that's been all done up as you can see C101, another mud mower, nothing too special there. If you haven't watched any of my junkyard updates, tons and tons of tires, a bunch of different attachments and whatnot. Kubota TG1860, that's got a D722 in it. I got plans for this, but um, haven't had time for it yet. Gilson Brothers M7, another one I have plans for. I just haven't had time to finish it. Thinking about putting a diesel on that one. I think that'd be kind of cool. Just a really weird, kind of strange tractor. Over here, we got the uh, little Yanmar-powered Raider 10. I do plan on pulling that Yanmar out of this chassis again. Just not happy with it. Couldn't be a full collection update without showing off my big loader. This is the lifeblood of my operation. I love this tractor. It's my baby. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a big, decent-sized John Deere, get the 2R series. Up here, we got my 1952 Cub, uh, Farmwell Cub. This is a pretty decent tractor. Just picked it up not too long ago. It runs and drives. I just uh, noticed that it's got a nice coolant leak uh, right out of the radiator. So I ordered a new radiator, and that should be in within the next couple of weeks. We'll get that all fixed up. Gravely Commercial 10A. My first Gravely, that's not an L. I've had, I guess I've only had one other Gravely that was an L. Uh, that's a 10-horse Kohler. Probably going to pull that in the garage within the next couple days, start to get to work on that. I did find a real mower for the front of it that I'm going to go pick up tonight, so that ought to be pretty cool. I don't know if you can count this as a tractor. This is like a Gravely Commercial 18 or something like that. Or sorry, ProMaster 18H. Kind of a tractor, I guess. All the attachments for the Deers. Got a 160 John Deere, got a 130 John Deere. Here's my 316 Loader John Deere. That's got the, uh, oh, what is it, Johnson Workhorse on it. Pretty cool overall. Not too bad of a machine. It's got wheel weights on the back of it and everything. Pretty sweet tractor. That's the 316K. So that's the one-year-only K-Series model 316. 
Got a 212 John Deere here, just a gear drive. Got a 140 H1. You saw how many other 140s I have. I have a few of them. Uh, 112 hydraulic lift. This shouldn't be in the John Deere lineup, but it's green and yellow, so I figured it'd look better than, like, the Panzer. Um, so this is a Bolin's ride -O -Matic. It should have the little round hood and the round fenders, but someone butchered it. This is going to be a really cool custom project that I'm going to make. Just something to cruise around shows with. Nothing too crazy. That's a 64 110. We got a couple of 140 parts tractors. That's a 317 parts tractor. Here we got my T707 ES Panzer. This tractor runs and drives. I just um, pulled all the uh, original. Or it, it had this red paint on it. It came off pretty easily. So I think it looks a little bit better now. I'm still not a huge fan of the look of them. Got this Massey Ferguson 8 Hydro, kind of a rare tractor. Bought it because I need the wheel weights. This AMF 1010, another really rare tractor. Again, bought it because it had cool wheel weights on it. Got this Honda 3810. This is the single cylinder version of the 3813, the very famous 3813. Don't know who decided to paint it baby blue, but they shouldn't have. Got this almost brand new T1000 Craftsman. This thing runs and drives pretty decent. Just picked this up today, not a tractor, but it's a three cylinder diesel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I got to cover up that because I think that's where the solenoid goes. And I don't want that to get water in there. I think we're going to get snow and rain tonight. Cub Cadet 1650 single stick um, hydraulics. I hope I was hoping it would be the twin stick, but you know what happens. 1641 or 1541 Cub Cadet there. Nothing too special with that. Uh, up there, we just got a Craftsman 2 and a couple like LT1000s or YT3000s, whatever those two are. Got this Alice Chalmers 410. Alice Chalmers uh, 716, I believe. That's got the 16 horse Kohler or something like that. Maybe that's a 12 horse. I don't know. 712. I don't remember. Simplicity Wonder Boy. Um, case 155. Got a 417A wheel horse. Got a C175 wheel horse. Um, just got this one in today as well. Go over here. There's a C81 parts machine with the strike wheels that should come on like a deer. There's a C160 parts machine, C195 parts machine, C81, C125. I just sold two tractors that were sitting here. Um, 1257 clone project, no name A8 speed, GT16000 with a twin cylinder Magnum in it. It's a pretty cool tractor. There's my 800 wheel horse, C81, and a C101. There's a Suburban 550, just waiting for its motor. And I guess we can count these. I mean, there's a couple over here, 418, 417, two Charger 12s, 516 Hydro, 312 Hydro, Commando V8, all these mower decks, tons and tons of more parts. But that's the entire collection. I've been meaning to do a video like this for quite some time, and I just never had the time to do it. Um, so actually, this video has been filmed over the course of a few days. So you might notice a little bit of inconsistencies in the weather and how I'm talking. <laughs> but um, you know what happens. I've been very busy. I'm still busy today. I got to go and pull one of the tractors out from the basement right now and get to work on it. But all in all, pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If one of you guys can count how many tractors I have right now and let me know, that'd be really cool. I honestly don't know. I lost count a while ago. I'd say I'm somewhere in the 75 to 80 range if I had to make an educated guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the entire collection. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope all you guys have a great day.